You can jump on all over those bets. I want to say a big thanks to OPOP for the 931 donation. I know that was like a quarter of an hour ago, but thank you very much for the support, man, and the prize pool. We're on a 545 at the moment of a $1,000 goal, so thanks so much, everyone, for supporting the Z Live Duel Series, supporting the community and the competitive scene that we've got in Quake Champions. We hope to uh, continue uh, putting on some of these course i'm not going to be around for a couple of weeks so the next edition is probably not going to be for about three weeks or so and i feel like it's good that we don't have them all the time otherwise it's going to be very difficult to raise like a substantial prize pool i think for each tournament if it's happening like week by week that is expecting asking way too much from the community uh, to pull out pockets but if we're doing something like once a month or so then i think that's uh you know, maybe we're going to be able to, to to push ourselves. We'll just have to see. We will have to see. Uh, I am joined by Mitch. I know who uh, popped over to the bathroom. I don't know if he's back yet. He'll make a small groan or something if that's the case. But we've got an interesting uh, first map. We've got Razy on the Sawlag going versus Buckster on the Aizen. Razy and Maestro Gaming is currently over at the Red Bull Gaming Sphere in London. So he's playing from there today. Uh, the Maestro guys basically had a load of their players, you know, in multiple games in Apex and Fortnite. They had Wenger and Razy over playing Quake, boot camping, getting good. Unfortunately, Wenger... Oh, I need to turn the music off. My, my, my bad, guys. Uh, unfortunately, Wenger had to fly home today, which is why he's not playing in today's cup. But Razy, I think, is uh, in London till tomorrow. Uh, look at the damage that Razy's already managed to get. I know people have been saying that Sawlag and Anarchy have been getting pretty weak. But Razy does like to break the meta. He's the kind of player who's like, you know what? Maybe a champion is still viable. Or is vi viable. And he will turn something that looks like mud to some people. And he'll make it look like diamonds to others afterwards. Look at that. Swing around. Manages to get himself the LG up the bounce pad. And... Uh, Looking absolutely perfect. And I, I've, I've been told we'll, we'll have Mitch back in a few moments, okay? So if you're missing Mitch, his first time casting European Quake, don't worry, he'll be here soon. You don't have to listen to me the whole time. He's done so much damage, actually. And, and the thing is, you've got to knock that stack down somehow. If Razy's just allowed to charge around as he wishes, then he can be really, really powerful. And even right off the spawn, unless you can build your stack up to a nice amount early on, I mean, it's just going to hurt. We've still got some damage being done by the poison. Unfortunately, he can't get the kill before the heavy's taken. And this is a chance now for Buxter to get himself on the board properly. He's going to go through the teleporter, surely. He doesn't? Oh, there's a chance right now for Razy to recover from this. And that would be a nightmare for Buxter. Yeah, Razy hugging the wall. Doesn't want to get LG'd at all. Sawlag's still a very big target. So, and you can take damage. I know people talk about the um, ADAD animation. In reality, to the high-level players, Sawlag is still not that bad of a target to be landing. It's not even that far away from trying to land uh, shots onto a clutch, for instance. Still that damage ticking away, but Buxter does find a rocket up above, and we are going to be able to get onto his point of view. Finds him off the spawn. He's going to have to break out of that a little bit. Maybe hold on to the heavy room a little bit. He's got enough am ammunition to work on this. There it is. Backing up onto it. Not looking bad at all, actually. Razy's stack is all right. He's dropping down with the shotgun. That was very, very ambitious from Razy. Now Bucks are getting into this himself. One frag away from tying it up. And he's got rockets back in hand. That light armor should spawn again in a few moments. We just found him. Rocket's going to miss the mark completely. Health bubble to remove the poison damage. That's a really nice rail, actually. Going to rocket damage initial and the rail follow. -up. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a continuous spam of rockets. I feel like we've got a little bit of a themed character coming out of the sore light. Fits yeah. in that pretty well. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I think it's beautiful. She's beautiful, did you say? Absolutely. Attractive uh -huh. as can be. Oh, the jump's actually missed there. 
Meister didn't make it over towards the heavy. That's a little bit awkward. Gives over the control to Buckster. He's going to be able to return a little bit of damage. But watch out for those rails. It actually sticks around a little bit longer than I'd like. And is still going for fights. Buckster is playing an aggressive game. Managed just to pick up a couple of small stacks here and actually back ahead in the game. I mean, still going to be pretty vulnerable to a rail coming through. Maestro is in a lot of danger. And this map doesn't mesh, really allow mesh, you to mesh. get away safely. I have to correct you quickly. It's Razy, yeah. and uh, I, I just got to do it soon, Razy, man. I got to put you out your, your misery yeah, yeah. Uh, under, you, under the Maestro. That's all good. Under Maestro, okay. I'm new to yeah. this. That's in fine. CS, That's fine. Have... It's okay. So, yeah. Maestro is an org, is it? Yeah, Ma yeah Maestro Gaming. How, how do you right, do it okay. in CS? We Don't know. they have their names as well, or like some weird tag kind of thing? Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's usually in, the one in capitals is usually the organization. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Razy's <laughs> just trying to mess with you. Oopsies. All good, man. Well, I meant the organization. You know, I knew that. I was like, said Maestro's in a lot of danger. I was like, man, yeah, this the sounds... The organization <laughs> is in danger of losing their, uh, losing their player. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, oh, indeed. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a yikes. I, I wasn't here, by the way. I was I was in the toilet. Uh, yeah, I missed okay. out on the whole start and uh, how things kind of developed. That's developed with a dinosaur flying around the map and not giving Buxer a lot of space to work with. Oh my god, if that rail hit, it's a, a frag. And Razy's just hoping. Are you going to disappear? Are you out there? All right, sweet. I can health up for a moment. Oh, oh my god, just being juggled. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> juggled in the air. That's just BM. He survives that. I mean, making it away, picking up the heavy as well, not looking too bad on stacks. I mean, they're fairly even considering the fact that Razy did so much damage. And it's just the advantage of having so much control over the map right now for Buckster. This is a sketchy place to just sit and wait for an eye. It spawned and he didn't realize he was... Oh my god. You smart man, Razy. A lot of people would just wait and sit on the item and then they'll make the sound cue and go, uh-oh, I'm trapped now. But Razy, just a little sidestep away. Easy does it. Oh, brutal rocket to follow up with... Was that the rail? I'm not sure if that landed, actually. Either way, Buxter is in a hell of a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's just caught in that room, and the rockets are going to tear him apart. Nothing he can really do about that. Racy's got a pretty considerable lead now, considering the fact that there's only three and a half minutes a little over it left. We're going to need to see a, a big recovery from Buckster, because he's had a couple opportunities to close it out, but hasn't yet been able to uh, follow through on them, and that's going to cause a little bit of a problem. Although he's got stack control, you're not going to see a whole lot of weaponry for him. He's only really got the rockets to work with, hasn't been able to pick up the heavy, and Razy has just destroyed him. I, I've been hearing uh, from my sources that uh, razy has been playing at a pretty good level lately. Um, I He was playing in the last camp. I, he definitely didn't get the result that he wanted. I can't remember oh. what place he came. He came like 5th, 6th or something like that. I'm not sure. But I've been hearing that Razy's playing really well lately. Uh, and maybe this boot camp has actually helped him out a lot. Because his shape definitely had been questionable up till that point. So I was watching that from Boxster's perspective. I just watched it back on the stream. What a shot by Razy with the rail. Yeah. That was a was quick disgusting. switch if ever I've seen one. It was very, very fast. And he's so stacked at the moment. For Boxer to get the damage that he needs, I mean, he's got to hope that Razy just stops seeing the light of day for a second because it's, it's going to be hard work. He's doing a very good job, actually. He's mitigated a lot of stack, but here comes the major item spawning. Buxer's just got to attack. He's just got to go in and in and in and make yeah. sure that this heavy is his. Even to find this amount of kills in this amount of time is going to be pretty difficult to work with, but it's still possible as long as he manages to start this fast. Again, though, the control goes over to Razy, picking up the heavy as soon as he was in a small bit of danger. It's quickly avoided, and now he's just going to be hunting down a couple more uh, weaponry, pieces of weaponry, a couple more bits of ammunition, and evading the fights, and really just running the clock down. This is the problem for Buckster. He's got to make this, this happen fast. Two minutes to find seven kills. That's a big ask. On a small map like this, though, it's definitely still on the verge of possibility. But, oh, that's... With that fight going this way, I think that's going to be a GG called pretty soon. I wonder if... Because uh, we're still trying to establish, like, who's an early GG caller in Quake Champions. In round limit, no one GG'd until they're done, right? Because yeah. you have a certain amount of lives. It's very obvious when the game is done. And this sure. is like the game is done basically as soon as you lose faith in yourself. And, yeah, um, you know, maybe, maybe Buxter's full of confidence until the very last second. We get, we get players like that who don't mind it. They're going to keep on getting that, uh, that cam time. 
warm themselves up for the next map. There's a lot of different ways you can go about doing it. For sure. And I think one of the things for me that's always been a case, I mean, so CS obviously being my main game, when you look at teams that are down like 16, uh, sorry, obviously it's 16, you're done. Like 15 to, I don't know, 5. Some teams give up. And I feel like if it's a best of three, you, that you can't do that. You have to fight for every round because, hell, it's better to look at it and go, we got 16-10. You know, if we had a better, we just had a slow start, whatever. We came into it towards the end. It's better than saying, yeah, we got destroyed. Let's hope it Let's hope it changes. Did, has any teams ever GG'd before the end no. gets to 16? No, but some teams just stop. They just stop trying completely. They like rush oh, really? the You can just see that they're not, okay. they don't care. Well, the most common thing is that they just, say it's 14-5, they just force buy instead of saving the money and then trying for an overtime. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then they lose 16-4 and it's like, they just lose all motivation in the next map, start making stupid decisions. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. It's not what you like to see. I think the mentality is probably one of the most important things. I mean, you look at, so in NA, I'm not sure how it is in Quake, but in CS, NA is so much um, worse. And it was so much worse for a long time. It's the, the same here, really NA is a mentality. lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from Rafa, NA. but you know, that's besides the point. The rest yeah, of NA. Like, I mean, Rafa's like... When you look like... at FPL and stuff, the, even the players say it, that like, they're insanely good individually and probably even on par with the EU players, but me mentally, it's just not there. They have super bad attitudes towards I, I, the game. I, I don't think that there's a problem with like a North American Quake players' attitudes, to be honest. It's just their general skill. Oh god, it's <laughs> even worse. <laughs> They're just bad, you know. It's like it's... <laughs> no, you, well, you got play, you like Dahang and Rafa are probably like two of the best players in Quake Champions. I, I maybe maybe not Dahang as much now, but he definitely had like a year and a half where he was really, really insanely good in Quake Champions. Um, and then you got a, a couple of up and comers, but it's like the, the skill dip gets pretty sharp pretty damn quickly. Um, is Machiavelli in, in chat? I'm not reading Machiavelli, okay? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Um, all right, it's Molten next. All right, I've got to do my quick little bits and bobs. Oh, yeah, what was our what was our veto process, so to speak? Uh, let's Last see if I can got. actually find it. I don't. Did I come in in time? Wait. Still in chat. So Razy picked Nath. It's, all, it's like his yeah. home map. There, he removed Blood Covenant. Corrupted Keep was removed by Buxter because Corrupted Keep is also Razy's like second home. Um, okay. Molten by Buxter, Sarnath is out, Awoken is out, and Blood Run at the end, which is a brave pick for Buxter if we get there. Um, but uh, let's start this one out. Razy, holy crap, he got 87%. But, uh, I don't blame him. Uh, what's so weird about this bracket is that Buxter's through, but this is where second place Agent was last week. Buxter didn't beat Agent, Von Dorimi did. Do we know what's going Like, Agent is playing the tournament, right? He didn't forfeit or anything, did he? Has Machiavelli stopped talking yet? I'm oh, sorry, okay, Mac, I, I don't see you in chat anymore. I, I saw an LOL, but I'll just assume you agree with me totally. I, I've given <laughs> props to Rafa and Dahang, okay? You, know, you can leave me the hell alone. Uh, we, we've got a, a pretty... We're, we're pretty lucky in Europe. We've got a very good skill pool. But the funny thing is, is like the Europeans, in my opinion, have a much worse mentality than the Americans, which is why I think they sure. struggle to surpass the likes of Dahang and Rafa. I don't want to, like paint every european with the same brush some of them do have a, a good uh, mentality but yeah it's too late now at this stage i'm just digging my own grave right um exactly but i i feel like the europeans could increase their skill level and be more competitive with the likes of those two if they had the stronger mentality to combine with the crazy natural talent they have already well that's uh quick let's jump in the game yeah. <laughs> very fast <laughs> that was, start. That was that was fast, and uh, we've got first blood. Oh, we've got double Galena. I just realised. Okay. Yeah, indeed. Mirror matchup coming through, from Maestro versus Boxer. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll allow it. Ooh. He's just. I mean, the easy solution is change your name to Maestro. I don't want to could be Maestro. I don't want to anything, but he he could just do that. He's a you know nice guy. Maestro, Maestro. Commitment. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, the stopwatch comes from Buxter, but low ground, not going to look all too good up against the Rockets. Taking out pretty quickly. A 2-0 to zero lead early on for Razy. Not really what you want. So this is a different map, a little, little slower. Um, and I think it kind of maybe will play into Buxter's play style a little bit more, hopefully. It's a change. Whether it's a change for the positive or not, 
is up for debate because Razy has actually done a pretty good job there. So he was being chased down. It looked like he was going to lose the fight, but the Rockets kept Buckster at bay, kept him out of that doorway, more importantly, and put his health down low so he couldn't chase further. He eventually picks up the Mega and the Heavy, though, giving him at least a little bit of a stack advantage. Razy now on the back foot has to try and avoid combat. This is very good for Buckster. The question is, how is he going to deal with this from Razy? Razy's combat skills... When, when he's when he's training, when he's good, it's ridiculous. Yes. But this time, he's not even going to have a chance to do anything because uh, Buxer just tickles him and fires a rail in his butt. And he's on the board. That's Indeed. good. Clean frag. Lovely. Happy days. A full stack up now as well in health. Armor's up on 100, so if he can get over to that heavy, we're going to be in a lot of danger here over on the Razy side. Bailing on out of there after dropping one of the totems. It should be heavy secured, but now again on the low ground. Bumping on up, though. Trying to get the angles, but Razy just keeps on eing him out of the planet, out of the solar system. Yeah, that was just free LG over there. I think Buxter kind of misjudged the height of his rocket jump, and uh, he just ended up giving free 100% accuracy to Razy for a while. That's actually really unfortunate for Buxer that he only had the rocket really to work with there. Picked up the LG eventually, but if he hadn't had it from the start, I think Razy would have been taken out. Look at how low Razy is. Just Whoa. coming on out there with the LG. This is looking very scary. I just got like a and burst again. of rails on my screen. That looks yeah, insane. Yeah, that happened as well. I assume it's just a visual bug. <laughs> yeah. Respect, respect. It's a shame it doesn't happen but on live servers. That was really, really awkward though, because Buxter had a, a much better advantage in uh, in health going into that fight, and yet Razy just, I think, pulled out the LG a little bit earlier. Buxter's over committing to using the rockets. Yeah, it's getting that sort of d time dealing the damage out um, consistently. If you miss a couple of rockets or so, or even just one, that's already, what, the reload time there of receiving LG damage? It's like you should already be out of the fight at that stage, especially against a player like Razy. You're not going to surpass his damage output. Uh, even if you're Tox, even if you're Claws or someone like that, you're not going to be able to do it enough to make up for a one completely with Rocket. In a stack on stack, like even stack fight. Well, this stacks up to go a little bit in Buxter's favor. I, well, with the armor up as well, I suppose you're probably relatively close, but my, uh, Razy looking a little bit better. I almost say Maestro again. It's going to keep catching me. <laughs> It'll break the habit. Embrace the caps lock. Okay. Razy gets this cleanly. He gets the rocket jump up and he moves away. So he doesn't jump into the LG. He oh makes my it... god. What? what? How did that even happen? <laughs> the totem booped him off. Ha Wait, did, did, did he get railed as well as he went through the doorway or something? I, I, don't, I don't think so. Because I don't think you don't receive like a, a physical push from totem damage. Uh, I'm pretty did certain. Can you jump on the totem? Can you jump on a totem? No, there's no, what? there's no physical like actual presence. I like, I'm, I he got railed through the hallway, so I wonder if he like wall clipped and went off. Because that's like really difficult to do. But somehow Buxter did it with the help of Razy. Where was he to rail him from there, though? Was he up on top of the... Yeah, but he, he railed before, like, before he went through. But I don't know if the mo that was enough to continue the momentum. And Buxter was just spamming the, the jump button. Because you could essentially just hold jump and still continue strafing. Yeah. You don't need to, like, press, press, press. Did you catch it from um, Razy's perspective or most? Yeah, or I caught it from R Razy's. Okay, I, I was watching it from Buxter. I just saw him jump, hit a totem, and fly off the map. <laughs> I wish I saw it from Buxter's perspective now. He went, got railed into the totem, then went off as Lupin. Oh, no. Yeah, it looked because he like went back up in the air when he hit the totem, so it looked like looked like the explosion booped him a little bit. I I, I think he yeah, just, was obviously holding space. Yeah, uh, you know, real men jump with mouse too, but that's you know, that's okay. I don't know what Buxter uses. That's just another chance for me to offend about fifty percent of the of the audience. Yep, you offended me. <laughs> mouse two jump master race. What's the scope then? Um, zoom? That's what we call it in this game. We're not uh, ADS uh, inferiors. Um, I use space for scope. For zoom, god damn it. <laughs> hey, sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Razy's waiting for it, waiting for the walkthrough. LG to LG, and when you've only got 20 HP, you're gone. And Buxter ended up off the map this time, but at least he died before it happened, so it was a little bit less embarrassing. Can't be offended by an ESDF. Dude, ESDF is way better than WASD. Way better. Especially in Quake. Negligible differences in other games, but in Quake, ESDF. I mean, I agree with you, I just still don't like it. 
Uh, that's that's fine. It's okay. That's that's pretty much um how everyone else feels. No wait, no, they just don't agree with me either. <laughs> it is. ESDF is factually better. I um yeah. I read well, it in the Bible. It. Oh there you go. There's more buttons around. This is obviously there. factual, right? Well, I'm Irish, so definitely. We're, <laughs> we're, we're legitimately taught in school that it's factually accurate. It's great. <laughs> as long as it helps my argument, I'm fine with that. Ray's, Ray's <laughs> just taking it a little bit easy now. He's got the lead. He's like, do I need to fight all the time now? Mm, I can try and force Buxer to, to make some mistakes. Instead. So, oh, do, do you want to jump for the Mega if it's coming up in a second? Okay, maybe this time Ray's got a little bit too uh, involved. He's going to dodge well, maybe some damage not. well. He does a lot of damage and dealt some of his own. I mean, Buxer just can't get ahead in any of these fights. And I was thinking maybe when he had a little bit more time to move when we moved over to this map and just more room, it feels like he's got more space to play with, that we would see a different result coming out. But again, it's just crazy. Every time that the combat comes through, just flying ahead. Oh. Yeah, I'm really excited to see it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it because I think it's basically over this game. But I'm really excited to see what Razy could do, like versus either serious or base, because um, it, it's it's tough to call that game. Base has been looking brilliant recently. He's very very active, but serious. I've I've seen I've seen you serious out there. You're you're on the stream grind at the moment. You're getting your games in. You're playing some Oblivion too, but you know you're also playing a lot of Quake Champions. Um, it's going to be a very interesting other semi-final, and definitely like what Razy can do versus either of those two players. It's going to be a battle of the ages. Eventually going to be able to force a fight at least. Let's see if Boxer can even win one. One more. He's so low though. If he can hit the rail maybe, but no. The shotgun comes out. It's going to completely tear him apart. I'm going to trigger Sirius real hard. That LG looked a lot better than Sirius is there. Yeah, I mean, he was so inconsistent with the LG. I, mean, I saw him miss at yeah. least 80% of shots. And strafe to room was a bit of a recovery, but... It's all about uh, LG to rocket. <laughs> the LG to rocket ratio. That's the one. Percentage, man. Percentage. Oh. Wait. How does that work? Wouldn't you like to know? It did look. Oh, he actually agrees with me a bit. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. But I might have fueled him into the Super Saiyan uh, on the next game. Raise rail. The thing is, he, t he takes the rail, but it's like, oh, I can just heal up my health immediately exactly. with this Mega. How wonderful. And we live in this age. And now he's got the light, and it's basically full armor. And Buxter's with a minute now to do something. He's going to uh, push what he can. Oh, how did Breezy just hit a direct rocket there? That's just that's just unfair. And now Buxter's going to walk through, and oh, Breezy's going to rocket yes. himself up. <laughs> Rip. And I like the spinning camera that I managed to get at the end there. I'll go over to Buxter. It's unfortunate that he couldn't get the points on the board. At the moment, we're a bit uh, Germany Brazil. So I don't know how I feel we about. Should, we should coordinate this uh, a little bit more. I'm, I've been watching Bugster the whole time. Oh, is it's, like it's an, okay. I, I, what I do is follow Killer. So you feel I hit G there on the player's perspective, then it will just continue following whoever got the last kill. Right. Okay. I, but I, if, I was just follow the guys behind. Well, it, the thing is, it will change if someone then like kills themselves for instance so there's like a mutual frag right. situation like that but um i tend to generally follow uh the person who got the last frag and when it's like to the last mm, couple of minutes then i'll usually follow like the person who's trying to chase the lead because they've got the ones who've got to make the plays right yeah indeed ggs it's 2-0 overall for Razy. he's going to move over to the winner bracket final and feel probably pretty damn good about that and now, guys, we've got Sirius versus base. I'm really interested in what the bets and stuff are going to look like for this, uh, in fact. What have I done? Um, all right, we're good. Razy is victorious. Good job to everyone on the bets there. Unfortunate for the people on the value bets, but you know what? You win some, you lose some. I'm going to put this next one up. Sirius. Sirius, I, I hope you're ready. Get yourself in the server. Oh, you're there. So Looks like we've got Razy out of there. 